Achilles here. This video will allow us to look on how to add materials to Schoology. After creating the course as discussed previously in the previous video, it's time for us to add materials into our course. Just for clarity mga ma'am, sirs, the term course here is also referred to as subject. Filipino, English, Science. I will be focusing on these items. Add assignment, adding test, adding assessment, file, link, discussion, media album, and page. Also, this add folder will also be included since actually this is not a material but it is used to organize our material then importing resources to start with so you have known by now how to create courses in the previous video presentation I have with me here to look at courses or subjects that I taught in Martin National High School, the Physical Science, Empowerment, and Earth and Life Science. Let's get inside Physical Science. I'm really so you nan ako Physical Science na course or subject. Sa taas, I'm really mga menu. I'm pretty sure it has already been explained by my colleague. Then down below is the logo of my course. You can change also if you have not changed yet. Then below it are several menus. At the center area, makita nato the name of my course and the school. Then the button add materials button. Book book ini kuman na button kay at anita pirmi mag pindot pag mag add tanan mga materials na to sa ato klase. Beside it is the option to save this course, whatever's inside this course, to our resources here. So in that resources, something like a filing cabinet sa ato opisina. And here, the mga printings here, mga get help tips ini, na whenever pag nagcreate ka na imo course, blank state amoy ini an mogawas nan paghimo na schoology, mga get help mga tips like get your course up, adding your materials. Then on the right side corner is the upcoming. Er, ang mga reminders in na area whatever you add for example assignments quizzes assessments, discussions it will be posted here sa IMO na view at the same time sa view ng IMO estudyante I will show you later on top of it is the notifications settings my settings and notifications. You can check this one if you want. You can see changes like in Facebook notifications. Beside it is the email notifications. On the email, mo appear diri. Then the calendar. This is the calendar. And the apps store. Something like an Apple app, Apple store, Google Google store. Ini Schoology store ni apps nila search then an importante daw na tong ayan diha my name with my photo beside me so this is the teacher's view to 
add files just click the add materials button then add files and links then let's start adding files attach files for example this one attach wait for it to finish the drone educator here has been discussed with our few students then here comes the options the first option is individually assign this button is used especially if you want to assign the files you set to be uploaded to a specific individual for example may bata na may problema na mahina so you are sending files to cater to his needs for his needs so you need to click this one okay then you type the name of the student for example Nepa. that's it you can add some more Another something. Then you have publish to students. Publish if you want it to be visible, and publish to make these files invisible to the students. Then copy to courses if you want to copy to another subject. For example, if you want to copy this empowerment the subject, then just Click. You are done. When you are done, click Add. The six files we just added. So we are done with adding files. Let's add a link. Add, click Add Material. Click Add File then link this link is the link the url of a video a website so just click this one then link the url for example if you want to add the url here of the topic early for example early models of the universe for example this video just copy the link this is the URL paste it here so that's the link just type the title here early models of the universe so there is an earning objective this has been discussed by the previous speaker so I just leave it there so the three four options there are four options available the same individually assign if you want to assign this link to a individual person display in Schoology yes you want to display publish to students you want this video to be seen by your students better publish then copy the course the same you can copy this video to another course when done click add so jauna ato nakita just a link so link ini siya nan video so try to imagine kun puno ini siya nan mga files an ato subject pero waya siya maka arrange according to folders so quite messy because it is not properly organized so what are we going to do is to add 
folder. But before we proceed to adding folder, let me discuss key concept about folder. Hamuk na klase ang pag-organize na ato files into folders. One of these is shown in folder structure 1. Makita natong ito arrangement ang mga files naka folder into quarters quarter 1, quarter 2 or un by unit unit 1, unit 2 and in every quarter we divide nila into week week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4 and inside of this one week maybe day 1, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday so ganahan ka mo yun na structure depende sa ijo kung may lain ka mo na structure na tagunahunaan it depends upon your liking another folder structure I want to show you is this one quarter 1 folder quarter 1 and quarter 2 quarter 1 may, may mga subfolders na content number 1 content number 2 then under content number 1, may mga lesson 1 For example, lesson 1 Or content number 1 is Content 1 is how elements found Then under that content 1 are the lessons So lesson 1, the Big Bang Theory Lesson 2, distribution of chemical elements Lesson 3, writing nuclear function reaction And so on So content 2, amor lagi hapon Jai so yun siya na lesson 1, lesson 2 and so on. Tapos may folder siya under quarter 1 assessment. Possibly ni anin ani isuyod an ato mga periodical exam, midterm and final exam. Even mga major exams pwede natin ibutang diri. Like what I said, it's up to you which structure are you going to use. As for me, I would rather choose folder structure 2. Add materials, add folder, type lesson 1, Greeks, view of matter, motion, and universe. Because the files that we have just uploaded into our subject belongs to lesson 1. You can also apply color, any color to your liking. Then the description here, you can write description. Description of what lesson one folder is all about. Pero pwede na iski. The date here, when it will be available. So just leave it. If you want to leave it, pwede ra. Availability. You want it published? or you don't want your students to see this folder every day so it depends publish on start date you want to publish the folder beginning on the specified date that the start date so makit anan student beginning this date or publish during the date range pasabot kung mag ka ng June 30 to, to July 1 those are the range of dates that this folder can be accessed click create the folder has just been added here since any the mga files belong to lesson 1 folder we drag na to sila isa -isa. this is how we drag files Click and hold and drag. I drag na to such a way na mo appear dao na kaindent na hold na kaindent na shaded na gray, not this one, but indented. Next one, 
hold and drag bring down pwede diha not this one kay kun ato i-release na siya ka, ka level siya nan folder so ato siya i-move nakapat na ka-indent kay para under siya nan folder next one drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop last one drag and drop so so yun na tanan napansin na to naka indent ang mga files na belong sa isa ka folder okay kita na to pinuto na to ang arrow niya collapse mag collapse okay since si lesson 1 na folder belong siya sa content number 1 na the earth is the center of the universe maghimo kita nan another folder for the content adto na to ibutang ang lesson na folder sa content number 1 na folder click add material folder Then choose color of the folder of your liking, purple. Then the title of the folder, content number one, the Earth is the center of the universe. Description is but normally I don't put. Then the date, leave it. Availability, published. So you want. This folder, the whole content of this folder, to be published or to be seen, to be accessed, to be downloaded by your student, leave it published. Then hit create. So now we can drag. We can drag lesson one, kay under mas siya sa content number one. So it drag nato siya hold and drag under content number. One. So, di dyan pwede. Kaya kung kanisi dyan, that means, ka-level na siya sa content number one. Lesson one, if this is the case, is, does not belong to content number one. It should be this way. So, amo dyan ang pasabot, naka-indent siya dyan. Naka-indent gani, pasabot, belong siya sa upper na folder. Now, let's create another Lesson number two, another folder for lesson number two under content number one. So, na na. Again, lesson 3 is under content number 1. So, you have to drag this one again and drop. What if kung gusto ni mo mag-insert ng file or folder under this within this dotted line so just click the dotted line between content number one and lesson one so pag i-dool din mo siya mo gawas ang dotted line just click it the same mo gawas you want to add folder yes for example just for discussion purposes assessment folder then color green then you can also put for example description here
then published. So there, nakita nato ang assessment ni insert siya dito sa green na ato tagpindot. One more. For example, you want to insert here. In between lesson 1, lesson 2, i-hover na ito ang ato mouse cursor. Mugawas ang green dotted line. So, that means pag mag-add kita diri ng file, folders, or whatever, ang hinidya i-insert ang file or folder. Let's add again another one. Hit create. So, nakita nato ito, dito na quizzes in between lesson 1 and lesson 2. So, what if, if you want you want to move the quizzes just under assessment? The same principle, hold and drag. Okay, that's it. Kung makita ni Joe in sa gear na button, if you click, na siya a drop down menu na edit and publish or individual assign move copy those are the options for the this folder assessment what if you don't want the assessment folder to be published or you want to hide the assessment folder from your students eyes you may unpublish it So click publish, click unpublish, there. So mapansin na to ang color ng assessment na folder faded. Ang pasabot sa ija, the folder assessment is invisible to the eyes of the students. To check kung di na ito makitaan ang folder na assessment or visible sa student account, i-check na ito. This is the account of the student choosing Serda. So, and he is enrolled in physical science. Then, makita na ito under the folder content number 1. Why I ato makit ang na assessment na folder? Only the quizzes and the three lessons, one, two, and three. So proven na kung iyan publish nato ang isa ka file, isa ka folder, then the students do not have access to the files. Dili sila makakita, di sila makadownload kay nakaam publish man. Go back to teacher's account. This is my account. So, it's clear na. Na kung iyato yung publish, dili makakita ang students. So, pwede din na ito gamitin na technique ini. For example, if you don't want your students to access your assessment for the coming weeks or month. The last one, since content number one belong to quarter one, so maghima ako ng another folder. So what what shall I do? Kung on top of the content number one and folder nato insert, I do all I hover nato and ato mouse cursor above the content number one. Pag nag-add kita ng folder here by clicking the dotted green line, the folder will be added just on that location click add folder just type quarter one so 
So what happened? Content number one with all the folders and files under it should be under quarter number one. So on saon man ato, the same principle, hold and drag. Okay, that's it. So, quarter number one, jad do na si content number one, then content number one folder, da upay mga folders. And lesson one folder, may mga files na suyod. Amoy ni ang mga files, digital files, na ato tag suyod. Para sa mga bata na basahon sa Inabayay, wherever they are, to answer assignments, quiz, or exam, or to discuss in a discussion. Since mag, may quarter 1, dahil quarter 2. So, maghima ko another quarter 2 by clicking the where. Add the green, bat, green dotted line here. Add folder. Then type So, na na. Makita na to. Quarter 1 and quarter 2. Ja una sigla kanan. So, this is my ideal uh, way of arranging files and folders. In summary, the key concept for folder folders are you can click the arrow to expand folders expand and collapse also number two you can drag and drop individual items or folders hold and drag the files or folders if you want to navigate or want to move the files from one location to another another concept is hover and click the green dotted line to add materials in order so, pag i-hover ni nun imo ang imo mouse in between files or folders, mo appear automatically si dotted line. Pag mag-add ka di ng files, diha mismo na location mo add ang imo tag-add na file or folder. Next step is adding assignment. In an assignment, amoy ni na assignment na ato sa panghatag sa mga bata ang kalainan lamang in digital format. To add an assignment under lesson 1, just bring your mouse and click the green dotted line. Click Add Assignment, type the name Assignment in the description box. You can type here the body of your assignment. On top of, on top of the description are the formatting bars. I would like to change the font to make it visible. Then the due date. Or kanus ama ni magju. You set the date. Since August ato at class eh, probably around September 1. Time is 11.59. Points. Since this is just an assignment, give it 30 points. Then category. You can assign your assignment into a performance task or uh, written work then the period or semester factor limit one scale rubric numeric learning objectives uh, then the options I have discussed this one before but let me go through individually assign assigning if you want to assign this one to individual people lock 
if you want to lock this one so unlock lock on or lock now so this one is unlocked any students can open the file this assignment publish the student yes great status is able yes comments enabled yes it should be enabled to steer collaboration among teacher and the student copy the courses if you need to copy this assignment to another course you may do so then click create there the assignment has been added under lesson one but it should be under lesson one it should be indented i have to drag and drop the file here that's it as you notice right part of this window assignment 2 has been posted to inform the students It's posted. Then you want to submit, click sub assignment. Okay, here we go. In the upload window, you have the option to create. You just create. You can type whatever you want. You can insert whatever picture here. Let's say you want to do your homework in this box. Remember, you can make use of the formatting toolbar on top. The same toolbar you can see from Microsoft Word. After that, attach file. Then choose the file, open it, and begin to upload. Once finished, there you go. Attach na and picture. Actually, actually, you can move it to the center, the right, so make it center. So that's it. Then submit. Okay, after submission, notification here, assignment submitted, one item on time. So it's on time. Now, let's check whether the assignment Chilson has created will be received by the teacher. So we have to check back to the teacher's view. Let's go. Okay. I check the notification. So there is a notification. Chilson mm -hmm. Serda submitted an item to assignment number two. Okay. So makita nato magbaylo-baylo sila at teacher mag-send ng assignment nansira ng sudyante isend din sa balik sa teacher for checking very convenient so what the teacher will do just click this one so ang muna ni Mugawas makita na to ang question ng, ng, ng assignment ang comment na tag-post ng estudyante laro sir kalisod maghanap the teacher can also post in response then on the right side makita nato under the name the student needs grading so just click it kung teacher ka so mo open ini an IDA assignment
Okay, na ano siya? Okay, this is the assignment of the student. So on top, there is a grade box where you can put your grade. So since the teacher's gracious, buutan ka rado. Why not graduhan na ka ng 30 total COVID man? After that, click submit. Okay, that one is submitted already. So, you know, in this window, actually you can edit. You can, you can add, you can write anything on it, or make a annotation, make a text. Annotation or highlight the text. Okay. So there are several tools where you can use. You can download it if you want. You can print it also. Very convenient. So that's it. We are done with assignment, adding assignment. Gana sa Psychology, pag maghimo ka ng quiz, tapos dahi mo upat ka sections, the same subject, you don't need to check them one by one. You let Psychology check the quizzes for you. Now, let's add quiz. Click on the dotted green line, then add test quiz name of the quiz is just for example let's say quiz 2 then due date you need to set the due date kanos a mahuman so example again is september 3 Thursday time at 11.59 so the quiz will end will not be access, accessed after 12 midnight of September 4 how much points let's say this is a quiz is 30 points category written work period for semester one scale numeric then the same options below create after create this window appears normally before you add question start adding questions you need to set the settings for the questions. Click settings here. In the instructions, you may write the instructions for the for the quiz. For example, direction. Read carefully and answer the questions. Answer the questions. Read the given, given choices provided. Once again, always to remind you that in this box you can format your text. I'd like to change it to more visible one, size 18. Then submission. Do you need this quiz to be submitted to you? Shempre, yes. You have to enable it. Time limit. No, I don't need to set the time limit. Low is a attempt limit. Yes, 
it should be one time. Randomize? Yes. Paging using page breaks. One question per page. Labi na kung ang gamit ng mga bata, cell phones. Then, mas, mas musibo siya and one question per set. Language keyboard nam question review. Do you allow students to review and change their answers before submitting a test? Maybe yes or maybe no. So just leave it no. Default is no. Resumable. This resumable. This will allow students to resume an incomplete submission in case of brownouts. I think it should be yes. If I'm brown out, if I open the authorities apology in the account, still he can be able to resume the test. View submissions, no. Then hide print values. You can hide and save changes. That that is the setting for the questions. Now go back to questions. Now start adding questions. Click add questions. From the drop down menu, there are seven sets of questions. The first one is true or false. Click true or false. Type the questions. I have already made the questions. Just paste it there to make it fast. Format your questions. So that is your question. Text for true, true, false. Then what is the correct answer? The question is in geometric model. Geometric means the sun, the Earth is the center. The sun is at the center, so this is false. The correct answer should be false. Do you require a correction if false? It depends upon you. Subjective questions, just don't click. Time question, just leave it there. Grading, how many points? Just one point. Okay, learning objectives. Create, hit create questions. The first one is done. Now let's start adding multiple type of questions. Click multiple choice. Then in the box, you type your question here. In this example, why is it that the net force is zero in the image as shown in the image? your question is like that you can change you can format your question using the formatting bars in this case uh, I'll just change the, the size of the text then I can here insert content in this case I will be in attaching picture so attach files which file are you going to select Wait for it to be uploaded completely. There it goes. The picture is there. So it's beautiful. You can actually resize. You can modify the image. If you know what is pixels, pixels is the size in of the image. Those who are familiar with uh, this, uh, designing or Photoshop, you should know this uh, exercise. You can have it centered. Then come to the choices. It, there are four choices. So, so you have four boxes. You type the first choice. second choice until the four choices are tied. Attention kinder teachers, you 
can attach files in the choices. Okay, you just click the button there, pencil uh, button, then insert content, the same procedure, attach files, then select which file are you going to insert in the multiple choice. Okay, let's select this one, for example, just for discussion purposes. Once uploaded, save changes. There it goes. So, you should know, you, you have known by now that you can add actually pictures in the choices. Then let's proceed. So, mga kinder teachers, ayaw mo pag worry, kayo you can add pictures here by clicking on the right side right beside the box ang mura na inis dyan ng uh, pencil na wakuan na figure na icon where you can insert image you can actually insert video also once you're done from the four choices you have to tell Schoology which one is correct you have to click or tick the box From the options provided, randomized choices should be ticked. Then hit the button create questions. Then the second question is there. So, makita na ito, tanawang ta kung siya o'y quiz. O, na ito, quiz number 2. O, quiz number 2. Sure ako na once mag-i-post diri sa upcoming mga events in quiz number 2 sa teacher's view, sure ako na sa student's view mo appear sa in quiz number 2 for the student to answer. It check nato. So this is the student view. Ita nato lang like, nangayan dere. Okay, upcoming events, the reminder area, jari and quiz number two. Isn't it nice? So kagana ang ato quiz pag maghimota, automatic ang ato mga students na members sa ato sa, na naka, naka join sa ato. Uh, subject automatically all will receive notifications so click na nila ang quiz number 2 <coughs> student view ni ha then this one will appear there is a button start new attempt pinduto na nila para mag start sila answering the quiz Click, mugawas na ang quiz na tag mo ni teacher. So, ito na, question number one. So, all the student will do is just tick crack. Grabe ka convenient, no? Then, after the first one, click next page. Number two, dyan to na. Nato question, may image, di ba? Mas gana gandun siya mga ma'am. Di na kita mag-drawing. Di na kita mag-pikit-pikit. Okay, just click submit. And are you sure you want to submit? Just click yes. That means, submitted na. And after ito na, oh, your, your uh, has been submitted. Sign Okay, going back sa teacher's view. The open it teacher sa notification or he has a quiz mismo. So notification na kinatanaw ito kung jawang nga doon nag-notify ba? Diyan to. Chill soon sir, sabi dito test. Okay, just click it. Remember, pwede sa i-click din sa quiz 2. 
So, magkita ta, duha ka estudyante, pero si Chilson Sir, dara may nag-answer. So, nakita ito tiya, submission attempts sa Kung ato abrihan, amo dyan na ninyo tag-answer. Let's learn adding assessment. Assessment, pwede ni mga periodicals, mga midterm exams, finals. Atan ni butang ini sila dire. Greek add materials, add assessment, name, type assessment. Due date, set the due date, any date, submission you have to enable because once you disable the submission, students won't be able to submit the assessment. Password just disable, category, it's a um, Quarter assessment. Period. Just leave it. Then scale numeric. Then we have again the options. The familiar option. How many points? Hundred points. Then create. Let's say fifty points. Then create. Ang una mo gawas after clicking create ang set up. So you need to set up the questions in the assessment. So instruction. The same instruction. Read carefully the questions. Blah, blah, blah. Assessment settings, assessment has a time limit, just no. Assessment questions are randomly ordered, yes. Show possible points for each question during the attempt, yes. Assessment toolbar, students can plug questions. Kini pasabot plug questions, pasabot. Pag i-flag ni, pag i-allow ni mang flagging, Mura ni siyag marker na pwede ni dyan markahan na ini duda ko ni na answer. So, muna yung tagtawag na flagging. So, if you allow, just click yes. Students can eliminate answer choices. Actually, for me, I will allow this one because it is a good idea whenever you take exam, it is a good practice to eliminate choices so that you will be able to get a higher percentage of getting the correct answer. Then students can use calculator, no. How about ruler, no. Students can use protractor, no. Students can highlight text, no. Students can use notepad, no. Allow students to view results after the attempt is submitted. No, it's a no-no. Number of attempts students can uh, submit one time. Then after that, click save. Then you are ready to create questions under the assessment. Let's go to questions. From the following questions, medyo pareho rin ni sila sa quiz. So, na-try kita ng multiple choice, true or false, matching or during, fill in the blanks, short answer. Let us try audio and matching. Na lang, matching mo ragwala. Let's try matching type of question. Click matching. You write the question here. 
match the name of the philosophers with the discoveries about the models of the universe just forgive the oh, na I at gana si Jack and I always nag-check believe ako in in Guan psychology then the prompts on the left possible answers on the right so prompts sa left possible answers sa right so the normal matching type So, maghimo kita type here, for example, Plato, then Eudoxus, sample na tayo ni, mga Greek philosophers ni Aristotle, Aristotle, then Ptolemy. Then, possible answers here, you don't need to be exact. Ang mga possible answers sa iga adjacent na prompt. The correct pair here should be entered. Don't get confused. Ini sa taas, dili ni kung correct. Amo rin ni mo display dito. And there is all boss. You will give Schoology the correct pair of prompts and, the, and its correct answer. So, how to pair the correct answers? Just drag the answers here in box. Si Plato, an answer niya dapat Earth at the stationary center. You drag your answer to inside the box. Eudoxus is this one. Aristotle is famous for its prime mover and told me the epicycle. This is the correct answer for this question. Scoring type, except match. Then, auto notes. Plus, uh, mga mouse, mga search. Auto notes, actually. Ang purpose ng auto notes. Wala na siya o uh, hint ni mo why this uh, answer is not considered why this one is considered so ani ka magbutang na notes the students won't be able to see here only the teacher then what else duplicate penalty so next save okay we have one question done I would like to try this audio and that's it considering we are out of time already I think it's best to have, have two questions for assessment since all most of this type of questions were already utilized in the test quiz creation Okay, let's try this audio. Click audio. Here it is. So the question, actually, what is the purpose of this type of uh, question? According to Scology, this this question is good or suitable for students with individual needs. Example, those students who are who, who do know how to read but they don't write so may mga anak na mga tao na di ka na suyat so alila maminaw ra makabasa sila makasulti sila sa answer but they don't write may mga, may mga disorder na siya So question 
here is what is the Spanish translation of how are you so here maximum length 60 seconds it is equivalent I think to 10 minutes so, grab it 10 minutes yeah. Sorry, hey, grab it, man. so this question it only takes you seconds uh, just give 10 seconds auto notes so pwede ka mag auto notes dire na uno na mga answer ang dapat pwede pero ikaw rin nakikita imo rin yung guide okay so you are setting 10 seconds for the for the response so just save it I think we are done here we are assessment is there created on my right column right side assessment is also appended in the reminder section uh, due on September 17 so I'm sure again this assessment students will also be reminded together with the teacher so parang simultaneous pag nag after creating mag-post ang Schoology sa Reminders together with the students. Muna yung pinaka-essence ng ng Kuan Pira System. Just to check for proof, let's go to the student's view. So, how oh, their assessment appears on the upcoming section. So, makakita once the student open his account, he will be able to check on the upcoming events. Something like bulletin board nila ini, even for the teachers. Bulletin board ni, so makita sa na assessment na quiz nansira na assignment nansira na assessment na lang. So what the student will do, hindi puluho, okay, mo answer ni sila assessment. Sample ra, sample. Let's take for example, kita student. Okay, so mo appear ni sa cellphone, sa laptop, start attempt. Okay, match the name of Phyllis first with the discoveries about the motives of the universe. So, the Ptolemy is epicycles, Aristotle prime over, Reduxus, this one, according to Plato, the earth at the stationary center. Possible points is 25. Okay, now this is for the audio type of question. What is the Spanish translation for of how are you? So, na instruction, click on record to start. So, um, my translation ng how are you in Spanish. So, the answer should be como estas. So, just click start recording. You have 10 seconds. Como estas. Como estas. So that's it. So review. Finish. All questions have been attempted. Do you want to submit activity now? Yes. So after you submit na, add to na sab ini, ilabay kay teacher. So right? ang teacher magka-record sab nan assessment ng bata. Submitted, 2 minutes. Okay. Now, go back to let's go back to the teacher teacher's view sa teacher's view sa teacher's view inyo sigurado ako i-refresh anay so 
Naan na siya. Nasa notification. Wilson Zerda submitted an item to assess nga. Okay, just click it. Pwede sa kita mag-click diri. Pareho ra. Then makita na to na ang iya questions mauni. Dwa ka questions. Audio needs grading. So correct man ang iya ng number one. Akwa siya ganit percent. One point. Number two, however, needs to be graded by the teacher. What the teacher can do is click the needs grading. So, maggrado si teacher. Kung sakto man translate and how are you? Rasi, kumutilyamas. What is your name? Let's hear the answer of the student. Como estas? Como estas? I can hear clearly from the audio. Como estas? You have the option to download it. I download it in Indonesia. Then since it's correct, so the teacher button, I will give him one. Okay. It's same, automatically same. So my student got hundred percent from the assessment. So claro. Let's also learn adding discussion. I want to put my my discussion just below lesson one. So the dotted line is there. Click it. Add discussion. In the title, type discussion example two. In the description box. You type here your your statement in the form of a question to steer to start a discussion among students. Like for example, why Ptolemy's model lasted so long? So that's the question. So you still demand to students, they start posting post after post. So magkinubagay sila. Below it, you may write direction. Watch attach video of Ptolemy model of the universe. So, patanawan na yung mga bata. Before sila mag-discuss. Okay. Then, in this rich, rich text editor, tawag ini rich text editor, balik na sab, sa, sa maghimot ang assignment, down sa din siya. Oh. May difference in induha in inserting content and this one also inserting files. Pag diri ka nag-insert ng files, amura ka nag-attach ng files sa email. Ang name ra ng file but not the whole content iyang i-gawas. Unlike here, pag nag-insert ka ng content, mismo ang content. Tagnan lang gani, insert content from YouTube I type Ptolemy's model of the universe so may nagawas I click this one copy the URL daan ok then balik ako here I want to attach here the video again click insert content to insert the video So, what are you going to insert? 
the video from the web. So click. What type? Image? No, it's a media. Link. Ang iyang link ko no, ang may ibutang natin dito. So, kung tag-copy na ako, then paste it here. Then, insert media. So, amo na ni siya. Ang may gawas. Actually, di na ito makita. Later na ini, pag na-create na nato ang discussion. Makita na ito ng video. So, mga bata, may question na o, oh, nadebatehan nila then they will watch the video first before starting the discussion amo dun si Jamie purpose in insert content pero dire pag mag insert ka insert ka ng file you can insert whatever you want this one you want to link you want to insert link here also, you want to insert files from the resources. So I click, for example, I click resource. Okay. First, my resource. Di pa man kung puno na mga resources. Ang ako personal. But I can check from my apps. Oh, pwede ta magkuan. Pwede ta sakan na kadini. Kung may ako mga file sa Google, sa Google Drive, pwede. Okay? Kung sa groups ta on, pwede. Pwede ka diri mag makatats ng files. Kung may bayo ka ng Google Drive, you can get your files from Google Drive and attach it to your discussion or attach it to your assignment, to your quiz, to your assessment. Basta may option siya na resource. So, let's try link. Apply, uh, attach link. Hanap the line. This one. Another. I copy the link. Pwede direct sa right click. Copy link address. Then go back here. Paste it here. Ptolemy na lang i-title kaya gagawin it now. Ptolemy attach. So naa ni appear ang Ptolemy na link. Okay, that's the link. Kung file ang gusto po nila, pwede po sila mag-attach. And this one, the PowerPoint para ilabasahon. Okay? Then Ana duha na kabuok file ida po mo PowerPoint link for a video. Aside from that, it's of, the the discussion is augmented with video also in the content. Aside from the link, so kabalo na mo sa mga pag-add ng file mo oh, from this window. Kung assignment in a discussion man, kung sa assignment, pwede po ito din na amanis siya di hapon. Na si link di hapon, na ano siya insert di hapon. Due date, syempre mag-set kita ng date. Then category, performance task, kay plus discussion man ini. Align, so the same thing. So just hit create. Kita na discussion na under lesson 1. Over here also, discussion number 2 is here. It got appended on the upcoming uh, uh, this area. So, and teacher reminded and also the students. So, later, mukato ka sa students kung diya o mag So, after pag grade discussion, mo appear in sa reminders that on discussion. Katong mga bag-o na nag-create, na, na mao ni pinakataas ang old old oldest na sa ubos. Then So mo na to discussion. Let's go to the view of the student. So refresh it. 
So, mga mamang source, inin file files ni teacher na tagpang butang ni sa ija sa within the course the students can open can download but they they don't have the option to delete kung napansin niyo on the right side wayay gear button they cannot edit they cannot do anything so protected and files ni teacher whatever the teacher files inside the Dominion Taglaon na Virtual Classroom. Balik kita sa discussion, tanahon ta, i-prove na sa nato kung ini uh, makakita ba si mga students. Go to, let's go to the students view. At to na discussion. So, like what I said, pag butang sa reminders, doon na si teacher makakita ang students makakita. So, tinaka o babaw man, so this is the latest. May due date pa na ibalo sila kung kanus a o August 26. Kung layo pa, oh, ganahan ang mga bata ng last minute, ang mga gadget ng mga bata sa nila. Sometimes kita pareho. So, pinito nila na kung gusto nila mag-answer, mag-discuss. This one is very good way of uh, collaboration, exchanging ideas, Ni. So the question that the thread, why Ptolemy's model lasted so long? Muna na, instruction, watch at that's video Ptolemy's model. This is the video, maka-watch kita. Maka-watch kita ng video. At the same time, because we attach files, maunin ni sila ang PowerPoint. Hmm? Pag-view, pwede na yung view Okay, for example, review na ako. Okay, mauna na yung view. Diyan. Dili, not in PowerPoint form, rich text na uh, non-scology. Pero, ang uh, suyod, mauragi hapon. Maani siya tanan. Diba? Diba? Very good. So, tanan, provided ng teacher. Ang tanan makitaan ang mga bata makikita ng mga materials, teaching materials ng teacher. They have all the access in the world of all the files. The link here. At the link, dahil siya dito sa video. Okay. Now, since this is a discussion, students can start typing oh what what is their uh, understanding what is their answer why told this model lasted so long so mag reason sila din kung man magsubot na sila kung man so, mag, mag post na sa kabata then everybody will see their, their post mag bias bias na sila Okay, next step, adding page. Uno man in page. We, we can create a custom page to add text. Magbutang tanan mga text, images, videos, or any combination of these elements. For what purpose? To present information to your students. So, for presenting information na magpahibalo, mga news, mag-ana ba? To add page, okay, I want the page to be uh, in front, okay, para, so add page, then give the title, uh, Map A, National High School, over here, Ah. Uh, Amoregi hapon pag discussion purpose ini, ibutang na ko ng Mat E National High School. Information about Mat E. 
then remember we can edit all the text here by utilizing the tools about formatting tools bold you can change the color the size it's there okay maybe below this one uh, on top of this one picture of Matthew what will I do insert content it's not insert image so content there ako the ako pinduton content man image so from my computer then picture of my school I love my own so rin lang eh. ako my speaker It so happened nakadako sa sa image. So, and schoology may may tool sub na maka-resize kita over here. Oh. Dito na uh, button. So, if you want to reduce it to 640 by 480, actually dako gyap ni siya. 480 by 360 pixels ni. Align Okay, never mind. Update. Mano na siya. Then center. Mano na ispilahan na mo. Na ako sa second floor. Then. I can also include. So, from image, text. I can also include. A video. So, na, na, nakakita na ka mo na na pakita ko naman eh let's do it again for the purpose of adding page kaya naman gulo ang page so I want to insert video from the web so what type? it's media media then haman ang video the URL you have to input the URL here so the search for Mat E National High School. So there na. So copy the link address. The URL para yung siya. Then go back to my uh, here. Paste. Then insert media. Na. This box indicates that the video has been inserted in this rich text na editor. So, pwede na itong edit. So, dito pwede na itong magbira-bira. Then, you can also add hyperlink, for example. May bullet pa dito, oh. Bullet. Link to deep end. Deep Ed, link to BSWD, to PNP, o kanang tulong na lang. So, dako-dako na ito, lamang gamay. Size 16. Then, for example, if you want this one to link to a hyperlink, or click this one. Walang ganyan hyperlink, you, you attach a link whenever a user uh, click on deep end so um, ano link um, may link sa deep end www.deeped.gov.ph insert the same sa this wd click the link um, may link ni dyan www.dswd.gov.ph Go.ph and for the PNP, same thing www.pnp. I'm not sure, I think the full comp, the full 
आप इंसुएना डॉट पी एन पी डॉट भोग डॉट पी एच ओके मोर नंग पेज फॉर व्हाट पर्पस दिस पेज फॉर वेलकमिंग फॉर इनफॉरमेशन प्रेजेंटिंग इनफॉरमेशन टू द स्टूडेंट्स Really, concise science in any subject, you can put anything here, oh, as long as related to your subject. But for discussion purposes, and purpose, the man, dini na may bayo kita on sa pag insert an image, on sa on pag insert an video, on sa on pag hyperlink. So we're done. So may mga kwangya po. Alay objectives here. The same. Create. Muna na siya. Okay, mati na siya ng high school. The picture, the image, then the video. So, na ang mga link. So, pwede na kita. Kung pwede ito natin eh, direct sa DSWD, sa deep end. O, mother office. Gusto mo PNP? Tanahon takong PNP. Police ba ni? O, yes. PNP So na pa'y video You can watch video from your course So all in all Ang course ng sa Eskology Ang imong klase Kargado ng mga multimedia You can watch, you can read It's a total virtual course classroom after all. <music> Lastly, ina ta sa last na material ang at na ato i-add. The Add Media Album. Click Add Media Album gawas ni title so by the way umin yung media album mura ng album sa inyong inyong mga picture kasi klase mga picture ini kasi klase ng mga files all goes in video audio o mga labi ng mga movies pwede niyo mo pamutang din eh sa media album for your students kung mga students ko na adyan tara ng video pero mga wholesome ng mga video so you put title here Album na lang Audio Video files Okay Option Pare-pareho naman na sila Then create Just create Kung saman Na iyang pop up na window Kung may ono magkuna naman Mas pa si attach Attach Then, for example, this one, this whole thing. Album ga na isuhamok. So, atat na siya. Kapit ka pas-pas. So, there is your audio-video file. So, media album. Video, pictures, pwede mga music. Depende na. If you still want to add more, there is a button here, add media pwede niyo mong pindutan mag-add then you add some more the same procedure so we are done with adding media files so to import from resources, click add materials, then import, click import from resources. Then this window will appear, import from resources. So remember our resources in our filing cabinet. For example, if you have in your folder home, uh, you have files, you want to import into your subject, 
just click them pili pata then hit, click import button nakita attach ato na sila ni appear na ang mga attach o pagka files now let's try importing files from using apps okay so you click apps there are a few few apps there are few apps actually youtube is there can academy dropbox let's try the youtube if you want to import youtube video into your subject Ang kalain na sa attaching link, ang link mismo ang link ra. Pero attaching from resources like this, okay, ma-embed niya ang siya picture. The picture of the video is embedded, embedded on the description of the video. Like this one. Now na to, let's scroll down. Okay, that's it. Makita ta da oy mga video sa website. That's it and thank you for watching. God bless.